This is an odd thing to wake up to. First thing on the docket is I'm letting my friend borrow my laptop. She needs a laptop because hers is broken. I tried to help her buy a new one, but that one was uh, damaged, so she's returning that. Next thing, lunch. Next thing, video editing. After that, I'm meeting Andrew in like Dayton or something. I'm going to give him all of the camera equipment. I kind of want to live in a town where construction is banned and everybody has to make creative things that don't contribute to the destruction of our planet. <laughs> New grocery store right there though. Look at this guy. I think his shirt said that he's part of Aero Sign Spinners. I didn't know that that was a thing. I dropped the computer off and she treated me to lunch. She bought a rabbit and roasted it. It was delicious. <laughs> I have to leave in about an hour to go meet Andrew halfway so I can give him the camera gear. Right now I'm at the studio. I was about to do some work, but I think first I need to have a little fun. Now a little video editing for the studio. I've received the call from Andrew. It's time to drive to Richmond, Indiana. I've driven like a lot of miles this week. It's kind of crazy. The lack of sleep is really starting to catch up with me. That was a 100% real yawn. here yet but he I think I had another 10 minutes past me to drive anyway I gave him the longer route it's a secret but hopefully he should be here soon and I can go home <laughs> There's a sinister looking kid looking at me in the window. About one day I'll be traveling to Colorado and Arizona. Video complete. Sunset beginning. Drive also beginning. Yes, <laughs> long drive. <laughs> it actually wasn't long. too bad. It was an hour and 20 minutes. Yours <laughs> might have been an hour and 40. <laughs> I think I gave you the longer route. I was going to say, you drive to Colorado or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cameras have been traded. This is like a blast from the past. I have not used this camera in a long time. It's really hard to use. The ergonomics are not that great, but it'll do the job.
So there is this place called Warm Glow Candle. Warm Glow Candle Outlet, I think. Anyways, I pass it every time I go to and from Columbus and Indianapolis. But next time I go, I'm going to check that place out. Andrew's calling. Yo. No, I was just letting you know in case you were like, where is it at? Anyways, I would go and check the Warm Glow Candle Outlet today, but we got just a little bit more moving to do at my friend's house, so I'm heading home to help him with that right now. This has been a long week. I think I've driven enough for three weeks. I don't know, I'm in rush hour right now. I wanna go home and eat macadamia nuts. I got bad news. I don't know if I showed you the macadamia nuts last night, but they got sugar on them. And I was wondering why they were so addictive. In fact, I wanna eat them right now. <laughs> fun things about having long hair is you can do stupid stuff like this. That's a good look, right? Looks like there's been a slight delay in helping Brendan move. I'm gonna read Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. Who would have guessed that a famous writer would have such an interesting name like that? Did the name make him a famous writer? Or did he just happen to have a cool name? I don't know. I did not invite this dog over, he just came over. <laughs> you know what one thing I really love is? Every night, the sky is beautiful. You know, if I could just remember to take 10 minutes out of my day every day to make sure I watch the sunset, I'd be even happier than I already am. <laughs> I'm living dangerously tonight, son. <laughs> Some chips inside, though. That I definitely shouldn't be eating, but I'm going to anyway. We need boxes, thus I am here. Oh, I'm living dangerously now. It's about 11 p.m. Brendan had to run out real quick and I decided to lie on the floor. <laughs> There's probably some things I can do, but I don't know exactly what to do, so I'm just gonna take a quick nap. Unfortunately, we did not finish. Uh, it wasn't in the cards tonight. We will be getting another storage unit tomorrow, and we will finish this once and for all. It's like, uh, it's like Dragon Quest VIII. Very few people will get this reference, but the main villain in that game is named Dual Magus. So every time you kill the main villain, he inhabits another body. And by the end of the game, it gets so ridiculous that literally the main villain is a dog. Moving this house has been kind of the same. Every time we think we're almost done, another hidden closet offers its wealth of goodies to us, but we'll finish it. It's 11.43, I wanna go edit a video. Let's get home. <laughs>